hi guys this is probably going to be a really fast quick paced video um it's been a while it feels like it's been a while since i've done a budget with me um and obviously you know how i like to break things down for you obviously everyone's finances are different um what i choose to do with my income obviously will differ with everybody and everybody's priorities and necessities um i'm pri privileged in certain aspects of my life as you will see um i'm just saying this by the way in case i have new people which i find that i do to be fair um but yeah so i'm just caveating this and just saying everyone's different um and yeah we move um so we are in october which is crazy to me um it is a 31 day month which makes me really sad because it just means I have to last longer without being paid. Um, and this month, so technically September pay, was 1,506. But one thing that I will know is my job, my employees, they don't pay sickness or medical or anything like that. Um, so I would have got paid more this month if I didn't have one day of sickness so I had let me break down my deductions that weren't you know tax and all of that jazz um so I had one day of sickness which was eight hours and then I had one day where I had to take the day off because of going to the dentist which sounds insane but my dentist is nowhere near me um so I had to take another eight hours there and then I had to take an hour of unpaid because for anyone that knows me and follows me on instagram you'll probably know this very well if you're anything like my friend lauren <laughs> but i am part of the in her power slash powerful on purpose community um of beck stewart's it's a podcast highly recommend i won't go into it um but she did a zoom meeting or call whatever you want to call it um, for the community of the powerful and purpose um, humans and that was an hour and because of the time zone difference she did it at I want to say 5 p.m australian time which equated to 8 30 oh the just half five but it equated to 8 30 which is when I start work which is fine because I don't mind booking out a meeting room and all of that jazz but it does mean that I have to have an hour of unpaid work. So that's a bit of a ramble, sorry. Um, so all in all, for those 17 hours that I did not work this month, my deduction was £193.95. pence. So I would have been better off um, had I not had a sick day, which I regret none of my deductions, I'm not going to lie, because I was suffering that day. And if I didn't go dentist, need to, health is a priority. And I feel like taking an hour away for powerful and purpose and for something that's going to inspire, motivate and just help me be a better person and be more fulfilled in myself. Um, I feel like I regret none of them, but it's just something to note because you might see my wage um, change depending on if I have to take time off, basically. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to note that before we go ahead. So let me get into it. Let me just move this a second. So first of all, this is how I would work out my budget. First of all, I don't get my pay slip until the day I get paid, which is very annoying to me because in my previous job, that wasn't the case. And I had a few days to scramble some sort of like skeleton budget or an actual budget plan together. Um, whereas this, I'm kind of roaming blindly. And a lot of the time, I won't be able to move money around necessarily until after payday, which sometimes doesn't work because bills come out and stuff and it gets very painful. <laughs> But anyway, so I get paid every last working day of the month at my job um, and then I work from that. So always, I always start with my bills. So rent that I give my sister and my brother-in-law, that is £200. 
Monzo, which is like my Apple Pay, it's connected to my PayPal and my phone. Um, so that's my tap tap money, as I call it, and that is fifty pounds, just for like anything I might need. Um, a lot of the time I reach for my phone rather than my card, which is I guess pros and cons to that, but it means I just work through my £50 a lot quicker than I intend to. Chase is £50 and that is like my personal savings which isn't that great, you'd think it would be but no, I sometimes touch that account too. Um, Spotify is £10, it might be 11 but I wrote 10 Uh, Phone is £28. YouTube Premium, so I share this with a, my, a couple of uh, friends so we don't have to pay the full amount. We get like a family account, I believe. Um, so I send four pounds every month and I feel like I can't go back to normal YouTube now. Like if I had to, I would have to pay for the premium by myself, which is fine, sure, we'll work around it. But yeah, does that make me a snob now? <laughs> Let me know down below because like, adverts just send me. Um, Prime, which is Amazon Prime, is nine pounds. Let me just move this book so I don't keep moving my voice away um then we have got gift gap which is my dad's phone bill that's 10 pounds a month apple is I believe storage and I'm not sure it's, it's as, as expensive as four pounds it might just be three but I'd rather do the four and just be covered oh it's whacked my sound let's not do that netflix is 11 pounds Kindle Unlimited is £10, if you don't know, I'm an avid reader, um, I love it, I don't, I feel like I don't get through books as quick as I used to and I don't know why, because I do have time obviously when I'm commuting to work, um, but depending, I'll bump into colleagues and stuff on the way to work and you can't really not talk. <laughs> Specsavers is £33. This does cover any eye tests, contact lens checks, anything like that as well. Plus I get a discount if I do need glasses. Um, so it is kind of worth it but I just get frustrated because I'm quite ahead with my contact lenses at the minute. I've still got an entire box that I haven't opened yet um, but I can't pause it because you can only pause it for six months of a year and I'm pretty sure I've already used that six months up so that's a bit annoying. Um, in Her Power is a new one. So like I mentioned when I was rambling, um, In Her Power slash Powerful on Purpose is Beck Stewart's baby. And um, she created a membership for the Powerful on Purpose group um, where we get resources, we get Zoom calls. If you live in Australia and you are lucky enough, you can do meetups with her and all of that good stuff the temptation to now move to australia is real um but that equates to if i did my calculations right it's about 56 pounds a month it works out to around about 13 pounds a week um but like i said when i rambled it's something that i'm finding is really helping me um, motivate me, ground me, the community is awesome and yes it's well worth it in my opinion um, and then as always I keep a £50 buffer in my bank account should anything go wrong or I've forgotten a bill somewhere along the line. Next up we have my Monzo Pots so I haven't, I don't think, I haven't done all of my Monzo Pots this month because you will see priorities were a bit different this month and all of that jazz but travel always needs a minimum of 70 because I pay for a 30 day bus pass Um, I need two buses to get to work two to get back so it definitely works out financially better for me and I definitely rinse the bus pass <laughs> that sounds like such an old saying of bus pass does anybody know a better word than bus pass travel cars no I don't know um, but I put 80 in there again if I build up a little buffer I find it quite nice um, Christmas is getting its standard 80 pounds I have not started Christmas shopping guys I'm having a little bit of a stress because I do not know what anybody wants in my family 
um so i'm sad and i need to figure out where for once i can start buying um leah budget is getting what did i say 10 pounds not a priority but i think i might do some christmas giveaways on maybe like instagram only little things um but i thought that be, could be quite cute clothing is getting 20 pounds because i want to build this up um to grab things as and when i need them it's currently empty so not now but before i did my budget um self care or wait well, no i'm looking wrong me money is getting 20 pounds treat yourself is getting 10 and oh gosh can you even see and gifts is getting 50 pounds because it is my sister's birthday oh no and i need to add 20 pounds because it was my friend well it's going to be my friend's daughter's birthday as well so 50 pounds for my sister 20 pounds for georgie that works out perfect um but yeah then we go over to this side so let me just move you was that smooth probably not um hair is gonna get 60 pounds i was super super tempted to get my hair done this month but honestly let me not let me be good let me budget how i planned originally and let me not be so impulsive um beauty is getting 10 pounds treatments is getting 50 pounds for my nails plus it got 35 so i didn't well i did before i made my budget i saw that my facialist was doing like a birthday special discounted thing and it was gonna be 25 pounds for her hour facial she has a couple um i was like absolutely i need that and it worked out on the day that i got it that which was payday that um it would have been months since i last got it done plus i gave her an extra 10 pounds so she can go out and have a cocktail because i was like go ahead girl you do you i'll go home um clothing is oh no i don't oh, i did it wrong i'm getting so confused myself right so clothing uh money wise got 20 clothing digitally did not get 20 it got 100 <laughs> and that's because i'm saving up for some doc martins and i'm saving up just to get like more autumnal clothes because i found last year i had to chuck away a lot of like jumpers and stuff like that so i need to kind of build those up again not majorly but like little bits and bobs um self-care is gonna get 10 pounds because we don't really need very much night cell also is getting 10 pounds uh sorry if you can hear noise everyone just came home uh home is getting 10 pounds coffee is getting 20 pounds that works out at five pounds per week which works out if i'm editing my videos i go every sunday to get those edited at a starbucks and treat myself food is getting 120 and that works out at 30 pounds a week and that is just so i can meal prep for work and get snacks and stuff for work it's not for dinner and stuff but i definitely can with that um, birthday is going to get, what you put in there, 10 pounds, <laughs> you can definitely hear Ruru, -ru. um, and emergency is getting 20 pounds, in terms of, well I put extra stuff, but savings, I popped 200 pounds away in there, and I've made, I've revived my adventure electronic envelope because I want to go visit my friend. Um, she lives a little bit away, so it does cost a bit of money. Um, but I'm planning to do that. So what I've done is I've just taken out £30 from money books. So they're just like little roundups and little add-ons that come out of my bank every month. Um, so £30 I've taken out, popped it in there, and that will help um with that and we'll see next month if we can actually book the ticket and holiday and all of that stuff it'll only be a couple of days it's in the middle of like oxford way um no not oxford cambridge way 
um so yeah that would be everything sorry it's a bit rushed but literally everyone just ran in and Ruru is trying to come upstairs and see me um so I hope you enjoy my cash stuffings as always if you have any questions leave them down below but until I see you next time guys bye